Kevin Grubauer kicks out the right pad. And here's our first gander in this event. And Taylor Hall absolutely crushed by Travis Hamannock. And Hall is in all kinds of difficulty. Well, Peter, we expected this to be a matchup. It's really tough to match forward lines, but you knew every time Hall would be out on the ice, his world junior teammate Travis Hamannock would be out there. And Hall is in some serious, serious difficulty. What a blow to the hopes of the defending champs if indeed this turns to be serious. Oh man. Taylor Hall, the reigning Memorial Cup MVP. He led the Ontario Hockey League playoffs for a second straight year in scoring and everyone knows as Taylor is in some difficulty, blood coming out of his nose, that he could very well go number one in the upcoming National Hockey League draft. And it's great to see him back on his feet. And here's the thing about this switch. He goes face first into the boards. He heads back. Roback was first back. He's the left side. Once Hall gets around him, Hamannick decides he wants to take matters into his own hand and happens to hit him in that very unsafe area, about six to eight feet away from the boards. Hall goes in head first. Listen, this guy has been resilient his entire career. He has had a target on his back his entire career. And unless it's a debilitating injury, I would expect to see him back on the next chip. But with a few more 